Hi guys, I hope everybody's having a great day. I um, hope you're all doing well, and I hope everybody's staying safe at this, at this time because of just everything going on in the world. Um, anyway, I just want to show you guys how to update your RX 600 XT uh, BIOS, VBIOS. Um, this is a general video, like it's, it's just basically the same process for every single brand of card you have, like ASUS, Gigabyte, uh, MSI, uh, Sapphire, all of them. So, um, this tool right here, ATI Flash, is from AMD. It's a safe tool. You know, I'm gonna put this in the description so you guys can get it. Um, so you're gonna get this. The reason you need this first is because you need to know what BIOS you ha currently have, so you know which BIOS to upgrade to. So you would then get this file, you're going to extract all. You're going to run this as an administrator and it has to be as admin. It's this one right here. This will come up. Um, this will tell you what bias you have. Somewhere along here it'll tell you, mine's F3 because I already did it, it was F2. Um, you would then go to your card support page, wherever that may be, and you're gonna download the, the uh, BIOS, the BIOS that it says for you to. In my case, it was F3, mine was the F2, so that means it could be upgraded to the F3. Um, you would then click load image. Um, in order to get the BIOS file out of your out of the folder that the BIOS was, install was put in, you're going to extract it as well, just like I did with the other folder. Um, I just messed it up, but anyway, you're going to have to do that. You're going to find the .bin file in there, and then you're going to copy it to your downloads. Facts, let me show you how to do it here. Right here, it's, it's gonna be generally called BIOS file. You're gonna move this to your downloads. It's right here. And then that's where you're gonna press this and then go to your downloads and, and then select this, press open. And then after that, you are gonna press program and it's gonna program your BIOS. But before you do that, press save and you will save your BIOS to a location that is safe in the case you break your BIOS. Um, you just click program, it'll take like two seconds um, after that, it'll say program complete or whatever, and then you'll just restart your computer and you'll be set. Um, you can tell if you have this uh, upgraded BIOS if you come back here and this has changed, or if your um, system specs have changed according to like, whatever software you use to tell your uh, uh, memory clock speed. So, anyway, I hope this video really helps people out. I know when I was looking for it, I was really confused as how to do it, and I was terrified of breaking my new, brand new card, so. Anyway, everybody have a great day and like thank you for watching this video.